if this has a charge. Ooh, yes. All the pipes have been here. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Molly and I love to make cleaning motivation videos as well as inspirational homemaking videos to help you get motivated and inspired around your home as well. And in today's video, we are gonna clean out my fridge because it is way overdue. The last time I cleaned it was when I posted one of my very first videos here on my YouTube channel and I did like a deep clean of the fridge and that was in like August or September of 2022 and here we are in April of 2024 and I have not done a major deep clean of it since then. So let's get to cleaning. Luckily it's not too, too bad in here. So we don't have as much to do as we did, I hope, <laughs> as the last time I cleaned the fridge. However, if you look under here, you can see just this okay this I will say is pretty bad like look at that that's pretty gross in there right so I'm gonna clean I think what I'm gonna do is clean all of these shelves in the doors first and then we will hit the inside and let me show you one thing that drives me nuts <laughs> is all of our produce <laughs> we just stuff it in this one drawer and it's hard to see what we have so I did get some new bins to kind of organize our produce and I will show those here in a little while. But all right, let's, let's start cleaning because this thing, it needs it pretty bad. We got everything we need right here. Wine and burning chemistry. to clean the butter dish as well or the butter holder so I don't know if you noticed but so I did not like take everything out I wanted to try and keep it in the fridge so it stays as fresh as it can be um, and without like spoiling so because last time I took everything out and it was out of the fridge for quite a while <laughs> so this time I'm trying to do it in sections and hopefully and that will work out a lot better so all right let's put these shelves back in Watch 
found a crack in this one. You can see that. There is like a crack in this. Oh, oh well, it's still working, so we're just gonna clean it and put it back. I know I sometimes drive you crazy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know I sometimes drive you crazy. And I think that's why you've been building this wall now and I don't really know how I'm supposed to break it down I tried peeking through the cracks of the light but couldn't catch it now the one that's breaking down you should let me This shelf is just quite a strange shape <laughs> and just it's different than the rest of them. It doesn't hold very much and neither does this little tiny baby one. But uh, we did discover that we can put like skinny things in there <laughs> like this tomato paste will fit quite nicely right there and some sour cream when it's like almost gone. Ooh, sorry, it's out of focus. There we go. And some sour cream when it's like almost gone. So that's about all that can fit in that little space. Now that the sides are done, we're going to move into the middle and do those shelves. And because they're so big, they're gonna take up a lot of space when I'm cleaning them. I'm going to move this, slide it down, so I have space and I don't break my new little teacups and <laughs> other things. So, all right, let's do it. I drive you crazy, but don't pull away from me. to bottom and this time I might have to actually take stuff out. Some of this stuff definitely needs to be thrown out. Like this has been in there for a while. Some other things. This know about this little tip put baking soda in your fridge and it helps to like elim eliminate odors so I've been doing that for quite a few years now and I just I 
I don't think I've smelled any odors in my fridge since I started doing this. So a little tip, and you know what? It's probably about time <laughs> to get a new one. So. Just like magic, won't forget this for the rest of my life. Okay, I got everything off of the shelves. Now I'm seeing some crumbs, so I'm gonna hope, I hope this has a charge. Ooh, yes, it has a charge. Okay, so we're gonna use this to get like little crummy things off of here and then wipe them down and then we'll move to it, the drawers. Okay, let's see what is actually in my produce section here and kind of figure out what we're gonna keep and what needs to go bye bye. Always think of you when spring comes like it's something in the air at the time. Don't know why. Always dream of you when spring comes. It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time that you want. I think we can keep all of these. Turns out I have two green peppers, so that's good. Okay, so it looks like we have two green peppers, which is good because I need one for tonight's dinner, what I wanna make, so I wanna make some spaghetti. So that is perfect. Ooh, about enough. Lost the lime there. This parsnip, I don't know, this might need to go bye-bye. <laughs>
water in here. Like, we, I think we found out that it has something to do with the ice maker. If we leave it on for too long, for some reason water just pours out in here. Don't know why. If anybody knows why the Samsung fridge does that, please let me know down in the comments. <laughs> Just look at this, like this is ice, all the ice up in here, and I'm like, what? Crazy. a towel because there's so much water I figured a towel would work to kind of absorb the water here had to do that in the past um, when I lived in North Carolina, I had to buy a new fridge. Whew. Yeah, don't want to do that again. Uh, let's get this cleaned up. This is the last thing that needs to be cleaned. And then we are going to do some like reorganizing in the fridge, which I'm excited about. Lorene for sponsoring today's video. They have sent me their new reusable bags, like Ziploc bags. And I'm gonna try them out. So these are supposed to be like freezer safe, dishwasher safe, and even microwave safe, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to use some of these to organize some of the things that are in my fridge 
And what's really cool about these as well is that they are supposed to stand up on their own. So that's a really cool feature. Like I like that they can stand up on their own so I can fill things in the bag pretty easily. So another cool thing about these is they are microwave safe, but only for like less than a minute. So make sure you don't put them in there for more than a minute. So let's put some things into these bags and get them put in the fridge. easy, convenient snack to take out of the fridge, on the go, or wherever, um, or just to snack on throughout the day. So, that is fun. And I do, I do love how they come in these fun colors. So we've got yellow, orange, and like a teal, blue, like a, a really pretty blue. that they can actually go into the dishwasher, so you just want to rinse them out first. And then what I would do is turn them inside out. That way it's cleaning the inside of them. Okay, so after you turn it inside out, I would put it on the top rack, and you do not want to use the drying cycle on these because it can warp the plastic. So you want to make sure it still goes through the washing cycle. Just un so stop your just stop your dishwasher before the dryer drying cycle happens, and then you should be fine. Leave is doing its heating cycle now. Save the bag. We're gonna take it out now to save it from warping. So I'm just gonna set it here and let it air dry. One more thing that I want to show you is that these are leak proof. I'm gonna fill it up with water. Close it up. Look at that, no water, no water is leaking, so that's awesome. Now I will say that these feel and look 
much like kind of like a plastic plastic baggie. I mean, these are a lot flimsier, you know, but they these are so much thicker and I feel like they are way nicer and they're way better for the environment. So thank you again to Lorene for sponsoring today's video. It's nice and clean in here now and just I feel like I can see everything so that is perfect. This is so much better, so so much better than it was before and I kind of changed this around so I have like little snack things here and deli meat and cheese. I think I have some cheese in there too and then other cheeses on this side and meat in here and then this is blank or blank or empty I should say this is an empty drawer and I'm thinking this could be where leftovers go and then we have produce that we can see that we have so that's so nice and here we are with our cool snack bags because I snack on these these are so good and strawberries oh my favorite absolute favorite so so much better <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some motivation to clean your fridge at home as well. If you did, please leave me a like and a comment down below and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one.